right, we are back. And in light of our last visit. Welcome to Assateague Island. We'll let mom have the honors. Welcome to Assateague Island National Seashore. You guys ready? Yep. yep. Three trails today, let's go. Why are you guys coming back? Closed Tuesday, Wednesday. And You're today kidding is me. Wednesday. <laughs> oh Four no. Yeah. Okay, I think you could drop the mask now. Oh, okay. Just want to be never hurts me too careful. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna rely on Dad's research. Think that'll work for you guys? Yeah, that's yeah. great. <laughs> that was a lot of confidence. <laughs> I don't put that much confidence in myself. All right, let's go for it. Three trail. trails. Three trails today. Yep. You don't happen to know where the horses were today, do you? Um, I haven't heard anything, but I would tend to look back on the bay. Take some of the hiking trail. They go okay. life of the marsh and life of the forest. Eat another Got slice another of pizza. pizza. Life of the forest trail, life of the marsh trail, and then there's life of the dune trail. And we're the life of the party. <laughs> so it's a good oh, you know what? I forgot my little brochure that tells us the uh, woodland creatures that we might see out in the forest. Mm -hmm. Kayla knows them all. Of course. Of course. Ponies are our top priority. We're not leaving until we find a pony. How's that sound? All right. Just one? Just one. I think that's manageable. All right. Let's go. So as it was mentioned, we are on Assateague Island right now. This is the northern part of the same island that works its way down to Shinkateek. We were on that yesterday. That video has already been uploaded. Hope you had a chance to check that one out. And as it's been mentioned already, we are beginning our first of three trails, Life of the Forest Trail. Here we go. So this trail takes you through the classic Oceanside Woodland community. Loblolly Pines, Bayberry, and an occasional red cedar. You have to stay back at least six feet, or precisely the length of black old rat snake. Well, that's a nice comparison right there for you, huh? Can you picture a black old rat snake? I'm hoping we see one of those today. After we see the ponies, of course. trying to find the horses. <laughs> They're not around. We don't see them. Nothing, huh? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, man. I see their tracks in the mud. I don't think those are horse tracks. What yeah, else do they do? They look like a bird. Like a little blue claw crab. So it's a nice trail. Life of the forest, but uh, no ponies on this one. We're gonna move on to trail number two. So welcome to Life of the Dunes Trail, round two. Um, this one is a little loop. It's a three fourths of a mile, but you gotta look out for poison ivy, ticks, and the skeeters. But we're good, because we're in the winter time. And we brought bug spray. <laughs> no, I didn't. You can cut that out if you want. Ooh, I like this trail. And remember guys, enjoy the park, but six feet apart. Okay, you want to piggyback right? So this is actually um, an asphalt road that they built in the 1950s and they were going to develop this whole area but it got destroyed by a storm which is pretty crazy to think that this could have been like a town. Yeah the storm was in 1962 and because of that storm it led to the formation of this being a national park to preserve this land in 1965. Uh, they were looking at flooding this piece of property, this beautiful land with 9,000 buildable lots. 
never applaud a storm, but in this case, it worked out the best. Behind the primary dune lies this environment, which is influenced by salt-laden winds. It's harsh back here, and all life must adapt to survive. It's actually a fungus, a uh, lichen on the tree. <laughs> Beneficial to both parties in this, yeah. That's a five credit botany class at the University of Wisconsin. Still put to action. Wow. Oh yeah, you, when you were the marine. <laughs> marine biology, yeah. That didn't last very long. I became a gym teacher instead. <laughs> I've been enjoying the beach other. I love the beach other. It's so pretty. What do they look like again? So this is the famous tree here at Asti called the Old Oak. We're finishing our second trail right now. Still no ponies. But I tell you what, if you like solitude, come here in the winter. Have the whole seashore to yourself. Maybe on the beach. No ponies here either. No life here either. Yeah, one family braving the cold weather over there. The second one that's trailing way behind me. Actually, they're not coming out, are they? I thought they were all behind me. We got Natalie. I don't see them anywhere. No ponies. On hike number three right now and this is the life of the marsh nature trail we are looking for horses ponies That's wild ponies. ponies still haven't right. seen any but we're hoping i don't see any in the picture either unfortunately That's not, oh there's one right there you were blocking it right there they say this is where they are so. let's go find some ponies we found some yeah you're right so after all that I think we finally, on the life of the Mars Trail, our third and final trail, have spotted at least one pony. I'm glad we saw at least one. That's all we wanted, just one. We just needed one. Pretty neat, huh, Natalie? So pretty. You know, it's still a mystery as to how the ponies arrived on this island. Some say it was a shipwrecked galleon back in the 1700s that forced the ponies to swim to the land. Others say they were descendants of colonial horses brought to Assateague. Either way, the wild ponies here sure make this a very special place. <laughs> yeah, we saw them here last time too. I love that we got to see a bunch of them though. There's one, two, three, four, five right here. It's pretty cool. We can walk all the trails, see one horse at the very end, come to the parking lot and see five. Yep, that's how it is. Beautiful animals. Yeah. Well, thanks for traveling with us to Assateague Island National Seashore. Hope you enjoyed the video. We had a great time here. Finally got to see some ponies at the very end of our trip. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to our channel, hit that little bell, and remember, from all of us here at America's Parks, there's always room for you on every national park adventure. Thanks for joining us, and have a great 2021. One more family shot, just to be on the safe side.